Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. Today we're gonna to be working on a vinyl cup. These mason jar beer can cups are all the rage right now and I figured we should probably learn how to make a full design with no seam and how to properly apply a decal. The first part of this project is going to be the design process where I'm gonna show you a lot of tips and tricks on how to not get a seam and how we're going to line up our decal perfectly. The second part of our project is going to be how to make sure our decal is lined up properly and the steps we need to take to make sure and have our decal on there really good so it does not fall off. Now, no matter what type of vinyl you choose, this will not be dishwasher safe, but the steps that I'm gonna show you how to do, it should last a really, really long time. Everything that I'm using and all the supplies will be linked in the description of this video. Beer glass or the mason jar is what you're going to need. Mine has a lid and a straw. Today, I'm gonna to be using tech wrap vinyl. Now, when working with vinyl, especially if you want something to last, the better quality vinyl, the better. So I know that like Dollar Tree sells vinyl, but just know that if you're getting lower quality vinyl, your projects will not last as long and will start peeling. So a lot of times when uh, crafters are first starting out, they're getting the really cheap vinyl, which is great to learn off of because you don't want to waste expensive material. Tech wrap isn't very expensive at all. It is just more expensive than Dollar Tree vinyl. But if you get really good materials, your projects will last as long as you put them on correctly. So today I'm gonna to be using Tech Rack vinyl. I have three different colors. I have a red, a bubble gum, and a light pink. And it's all this like foil material. It's super cool. And then with vinyl, you always need a transfer tape. The other things that you're going to need a squeegee and or a credit card. Something that has a really blunt, sharp, not sharp, but like a hard surface right here because we're gonna really put that um, decal together using a lot of pressure. And then you got some tweezers just in case we have a small piece that we can't weed out. You're gonna need some tweezers. We might not need use this, but just in case it's good to have on hand. And the other thing too, so a lot of times when you're working with vinyl, the very first thing that you that is comes in any vinyl kit is one of these and it's called a weeding tool pick. It's nice, but I have discovered a, a new tool for me. It's been out forever. I feel like there were some gatekeepers of the crafting world that was not letting me know about this cool little weeding pen. So this is gonna come with all of your beginner weeding supplies. I don't suggest using this. However, pick yourself up one of these weeding pens. It looks like a pen, but at the very tip, there is a sharp needle. It will stab you and poke you and make you bleed. But this thing right here, makes the weeding process a thousand times easier. Coming from a crafter who does not like to weed vinyl, this right here has been a game changer for me. Okay, the other things that aren't gonna be optional for this is you're gonna need some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Doesn't matter the brand, it just needs to be rubbing alcohol. And then a microfiber cloth or something that's not going to leave any type of fibers on your cup when we wipe it off. So you're gonna need a microfiber cloth. And then that's it. So let's go to the computer, design our decal, we'll cut it together, and then we'll come back here and we'll all put it all together. Generally, I like to have a design already in place when I'm about ready to do these tutorials. But today, because I think that this is going to be fairly easy and fairly simple, there is gonna be no preview of what we're going to do. So all you're gonna need for the very first step of this is grabbing a fabric ruler this is going to help by getting the correct measurements. If you don't have one of these, I think they're like a buck at the fabric stores. I'm sure you can get them off Amazon. We're just gonna take the tops and we're just gonna set this over to the side because we don't need it. Taking your cup right here. It's okay if you put your hands on it because we're gonna wash it later. Going from the top of the cup, not really the top. If you go to the very top right here, it's you're not gonna put anything on here because of this lip that goes down. So you see how there is a bump right here? And we're gonna go all the way down to where it starts to curve down a little bit down here. So there is like, it's straight right here. So this is gonna be like the easiest part of the entire project is just getting the 
measurements correct. So if you see mine, all cups are going to be different. So you, this is why it's important for you to get your own cup out and to get a fabric ruler because your measurements might be a little bit different. So here's mine. It's like four inches. It's a little bit over four inches before I start curving down, but I think I'm just going to do four inches. And then what you want to do is take your, your measuring tape and we're going to wrap it around the cup. For me, it's going to be nine and a half inches. Urgh, roll this all the way over. You're going to want this at the very edge and it's nine and a half inches. Okay, then all you're going to do is open up a blank window in Design Space. I'm going to make myself smaller for you. Then all you want to do is go into Shapes and we're going to click a square. Okay, so then coming back over into these sizes, we're going to unclick that lock and we're going to do the width at nine and a half. And the height is going to be four inches. So it's going to look like this. It's going to look really wide because we are going to wrap this around our entire cup. And then the height isn't very tall because it's only four inches. Okay, then you want to come up here into operation, click that basic cut, and we're going to make this a guide. Now, since I'm doing all Valentine's Day themed stuff, I'm going to go over into images and I'm just going to search Valentine's. Okay, when you search Valentine's, we get a result of 7,287 different clip art images. You can be here for your entire life. There's so many choices. So I have already been scrolling and I did found, find a uh, boho rainbow, which I love rainbows. So I'm going to click on that. But then also as I kept scrolling, I see all of these different little hearts. I'm going to click that as well. Then you can see it put right here. And then we're just going to click add to canvas. I have shown this to you in previous videos, but in case you've missed it, an easy way to search for the images that I'm using today. Right click, and this also goes for any of the images you previously used as well. You can right click on one of these smaller pieces. It won't work if you click the entire thing, but if you just click one of those small pieces and right click, this drop down box will pop up. If you go down to image info, this right here, will pop up this hashtag number. If I click on that, see how it brought it up? Okay, this number, hashtag number, letter set is going to be in the description of the video. So all you have to do is copy this number and then when you go into images and you know how initially we did Valentine's, if you paste in that hashtag number and press that search bar, this will pop up. So that's the easiest way to find what images I use. So then you don't have to keep scrolling forever. <laughs> okay, going back to our can, I'm just going to make this smaller and I am going to make this smaller as well. Okay, for me, I am just going to make this in the center of my can. So selecting that rainbow and also my guide. There we go. We're going to go up here into a line and then press center. Now I have three different colors of vinyl here. I have red, a bubble gum, and a light pink. So I'm gonna change over this because this right now is only one color. So I'm gonna change this over. We got one red and we got one pink. Let me do that heart. I'm gonna change that heart into something else. So I'm gonna duplicate, so Command D, which is duplicate. And then I'm gonna go down here into contour and I'm gonna select everything that I do not want. So I'm gonna hit that and hit that. They're gonna disappear and I'm gonna be left with that heart. I'm gonna change that heart into a different color and then I'm just gonna drag this heart and place it on top of that one heart. Now go back over into your original image, click that red rainbow, press contour, and then we're gonna click that heart because we already have one. We do not want it anymore. There we go. Just like that, how cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna go back over and do this and I am going to ungroup this. So coming up here into ungroup and you're gonna have like all these little hearts. I want the hearts, I do not want that circle, but I only want one heart. So I'm going to do contour and instead of just like clicking a whole bunch of things, let's go to hide contour and see what's left is that half circle. I'm just going to click one of the hearts and then I'm gonna click back the half circle and then click out. And now you're left with one little heart. Doing the same thing, I'm gonna come up here and we have a whole bunch of little hearts. Go up into contour, selecting that hide all contours and everything's gonna go away besides one heart and then I'm gonna click out of it. 
So you're left with another little heart right here. I'm just gonna drag this up. And that seems to be the same size as the other one. So I'm just gonna delete that. Oh, here is a bigger one. I'm gonna hide that contour button. And then this is easy since it's only three pieces. So I'm just gonna click two that I don't want and click out of it. We got this one, contour, click one and click out. See how quick and easy this is? I mean, just a simple little craft. Contour, and we'll click everything but that. Okay, now I don't know if we're gonna use all of these colors, but we shall see. All right, so now because we only have three colors, right? I have the red, bubblegum, and light pink. I only want three colors. So I'm gonna go over into the color sink, and I'm just going to arrange these like this red, I'm gonna put over into this. So there's one. Here is a bubble, this is a bubblegum color, so I'm gonna bring this over and put it with the bubblegum. And then let's take this and move this over into the light pink. We Looks like we still have four colors here, so I'm gonna put this over into light pink as well. So now you only have three colors in your field, so when you go and cut this, you're only gonna have three colors to cut. Going back over into layers, now all you want to do is place these in any random spot that you want to be placing them. I have my first original five and then all you want to do for copying pasting is command C and then V. Another one's going to pop up and then you would just keep on going on. Command C and V. Okay, when you have filled up your can, kind of how you think you're going to like it, select all of this and we're just gonna group this real quick. Now, the reason that we're gonna do this next step is sometimes when you make wraps, when you go to place it on there, you're gonna have either some that are overlapping or you're gonna have like a strong line or you're gonna have something in a spot where you're like seeing double of it. This is how to avoid that. So when you've already command G or group this, we're gonna slide this over to the right and then we're gonna duplicate it. It's not gonna be here forever. Okay, so this is technically your left side. And then when you roll it over, what's gonna be on your right is this image right here. So if we line this up together, this is what your seam is going to look like. So you're gonna have two, heart, two red hearts and then two pink hearts right next to each other. If that's not what you want, going back into your original one, Command Shift G, which is ungroup, and I'm gonna switch these over. See? small little tricks and see how now this seam looks a lot better so this is kind of like that little trick now we're going to delete the one that we duplicated we're going to select all of this and then press group again because we did ungroup it and we're going to command d which is duplicate we're going to do the same thing we did before we're going to take it over to the right we're just going to line those edges up and see how now for this side it looks different as well so for this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Command Shift G, which is ungroup, and I am just going to rotate these a little bit to where they just are a little different on both on the both, so they don't line up perfectly. Okay, when you have everything in place of how you want it, I think that I need a little bubblegum one right there, so I'm just going to take one and duplicate and drag it over. More is more, in my opinion, in this. So I'm just gonna delete the one we duplicated. Okay, going over into our design, we're gonna select that grouped rainbow and we're gonna ungroup it. So Command Shift and G, which is ungrouping. Now what you wanna do is find everything that is red. So here is a red heart, press Shift on your keyboard and just scroll down into your um, layers box and we're going to click all the red hearts. When you have everything that's red, come down to attach. Now we're gonna find everything that's bubblegum. So we're gonna hit that bubblegum, press shift on your keyboard and find everything that's bubblegum. Okay, when you have everything, then press attach. Now we're gonna find all the light pinks, which it should just be all grouped right here together. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, press shift on my keyboard and only get the light pinks. Okay, when you have all that, just press attach. Okay, a cool little trick just to make sure that we have everything lined up later is we're just gonna insert a square and make this super small. Doesn't need to be huge. We're gonna get rid of it here in a second, but we're gonna do it on the outside of our design. And we're gonna do, since we have three layers, we're gonna need three total squares. So Command D twice, selecting those two, and then dragging it over, doing the three. 
we're gonna go up into a line and then center. And again, we're just gonna line this up. It does not need to be perfect. We're not even gonna put it on our project. It's just for lining up the decal later. So we're gonna take all three of those, selecting one and then your light pink. So shift just one square, press attach. And then we're gonna find another square and we're gonna do the bubble gum. So shift and press attach or and click on the bubble gum and press attach. And then we're gonna do one more. We got the we got that gray square, and then we have the red, and then press attach. Okay, and then what you want to do is delete your outline. We don't need that. It's not any, it's not gonna be any use for us. And then you're gonna to want to go into cut. Okay, now see how there's like some weirdness and there's like different spacing. That's exactly what you want because we are, have already spaced it the way we want in the design process. And that's where this square is going to come into play. So now what you wanna do is grab your vinyl and then turn on your Cricut machines and let's get to cutting. When you're working with this vinyl, always make sure that you pull off this clear protective layer. It's so it doesn't get scratches during shipment, but you will not be able to cut your decal if you don't have this pulled off. Okay, anytime I'm working with vinyl, once you get it cut, before ejecting out of your machine, so you see how it is blinking right here, this is ready to go. Don't, before you eject it from your machine, I always take my weeding pick and I'm just gonna take the corner and then I pull back. If it does not weed for you really well, then push this back down and press the cut button. So instead of doing the eject button, press the cut button and then it'll suck it back in and cut it. But it looks like for me, the first cut that I did seems to be weeding really well. So I won't need to do a double cut. So all I'm gonna do is just press the eject button. And now I'm gonna load in my next color. Even if I get the correct setting the first time on the first color, I always like to just peel back just to double, to double check that this cut correctly. Then eject and switch to the next color. When you have everything cut out, you just wanna take your weeding pick or your weeding pen and you just wanna weed out everything you do not want. So if you want the dots, if you want the heart, keep them on there. We're just gonna weed out what we do not want. Some of these dots are coming up with my weeding. So all I'm doing is I'm going backwards and I'm just resetting it onto the sheet making sure that I'm not taking any with me. Okay, there is everything for the bubble gum. Now you just wanna set that aside and we're gonna weed out the red. Doing the same thing with the light pink. We're gonna weed out the things we do not want. If you have hearts that are staying with your weeding, like this one right here does not want to come down, stay down, I'm just gonna take my pick and I'm gonna push it down and then hold on to it as I continue to lift. All right, so this is all garbage now. Okay, now all you wanna do is take some of your transfer tape that you have and we're gonna make it the, we're only gonna need one piece of transfer tape for this. So we're just going to make this the same size as our decal using our scissors and we're just gonna cut this to size. Okay, so this dec this transfer tape is about the same, roughly the same size as my decal. So I'm just gonna take one corner of this and I'm gonna line it up with the corner of my decal. When I have it on there pretty straight, I'm just gonna start pulling away, making sure that when you line up your transfer tape that there's really, you're gonna try really hard not to get any types of bumps or creases in your transfer tape. Okay, when you're done doing that and you have it pulled off, just take a squeegee, a credit card will work, and you wanna make sure that it's good and put on your transfer tape. There we go. Now all you wanna do is flip this over and this white portion that's the backer of your decal, take this off. Making sure that all your colorful vinyl is stuck to the transfer tape. So it should be left with nothing. Okay, optional for this is parchment paper. This is a really good use because nothing sticks to parchment paper. 
So I'm just going to put this all the way up and see how my little square, okay, I'm gonna make sure and not cover up that square because that square is what we're gonna use to align it. I'm just gonna grab my next color and I'm gonna line everything. Make sure the parchment paper is covering all of your red but that square. And all I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna place this, the red square on top of the light pink square. Okay, when you have that perfectly aligned, set down your transfer tape lift up the bottom portion and slide out your parchment paper. Now, all you wanna do is just roll that on there and doing the same thing, squeegee. And then flipping over and we're taking off this white. Now you're left with nothing on the paper. Doing the same thing. Here is our Two layers of vinyl. We're just gonna put this up to where it does not touch the square. If it does and you already laid it on there, you can just take a piece of scissors and cut off the parchment paper away. Getting our next color. We're just gonna line this back just like we did with the last layer. When you have it lined up, press the square down and then just the top, slide out your transfer tape. There we go. Lay it down flat, just like that, and then squeegee. There is our decal. Then you want to just take off the very back portion of this. So now we have a perfectly layered and aligned decal that's ready to go on your cup. To prep the cup, all you're gonna wanna do is just, I lay this down on my microfiber towel and I just take a little bit of alcohol and I wipe this down. When you do this, you wanna make sure that you don't touch it with your hands too much anymore until you place the decal down just because we wanna make sure that we don't get any of our skin oils onto the glass because that's gonna affect the way it sticks to your glass. Just to prevent it from rolling further, I am just going to keep it on my microfiber towel just so it won't slip and slide everywhere. Now that we have everything completely aligned up, I'm just going to cut away that square because that's what we do not want on our um, cup. Then all you have to do is align this on your cup. Okay, when you got it, your rainbow down, now all you wanna do is pick it up from the inside and lay the one down. We're gonna rub it good and then lay the next side down. See how my transfer tape is just a little bit bigger than my decal. So when I lay this over, my decal is gonna lay on top of my transfer tape. So keeping this up, I'm just gonna pull this back just a little bit. Making sure that the hearts that I want on there stay on there. And then I'm gonna lay this down. There we go, okay. Before you take the tape off, take your squeegee or your credit card and rub it real good. The other bonus tip I like for this, I don't have my blow dryer or my craft blow dryer or my hair blow dryer up here right now, is if you have a hair blow dryer or a crafting blow dryer, shoot this with a little bit of heat. That'll really activate the glue and make it adhere onto your glass. But because you uh, rubbed rubbing alcohol on this, you shouldn't have any issues but we're gonna make sure and rub this on real good. No air bubbles in our vinyl. Okay, when you're done, you're just gonna take that one corner and peel off your transfer tape. And there we have it. Nothing is left over on my transfer tape and now our glass is complete. Okay, I would not suggest dishwashering this in your dishwasher, hand wash only, and try to only just do a light wash on the outside of this, but otherwise that, this is your finished cup. How stinking cute. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create, and I will see you later.